6.1 is Introduction to Exponential and Logarithmic Functions. We're going to start out with exponentials. Uh, they should be a lot more familiar than logarithms are. An exponential function is written a uh, base to a power. And this base has to be what I call a good base. And a good base is greater than 0 and not equal to 1. So there's two intervals that could be from 0 to 1 or 1 to infinity. And I'm going to call this a small base, and this is a big base. And either way, your base needs to be uh, either 0 to 1 or 1 to infinity. Now, don't confuse this with a polynomial. Polynomials do have exponents, but the roles are switched. So in a polynomial, your base is the variable, and your exponent is constant. Here's uh, the first two properties of exponents. Any base, any good base to the zero power is one. Any good base to the first power is itself. Now, why do we not want to consider uh, one? One is a little bit boring, and the rule for exponents, one raised to any power is one. So it's not very exciting. It's just going to be a constant function if we let this base be one. And a constant function uh, would just be a line with a slope of zero, so we're going to skip that. Now, properties of exponents, these are all algebraic properties. I tried to write them in the order you'd probably be most familiar with. So we have a to the s times a to the t. Same base, you can add their exponents together. a to the s, and raise that to the t power you multiply these exponents together and of course you could change the order so you could write it as a to the t times s which is a to the t to the s so it's a little bit strange you can swap the order of the exponents here and of course a and b are good bases so don't use um, 0 1 or any of the negative numbers what about negative first power that is a reciprocal negative exponents are reciprocals and a to the negative first is 1 over a. a to the negative s power, you could write it as 1 over a to the s, just the reciprocal, or 1 over a, and just raise the a to the s. You can multiply a times b, raise that to the s power. That is a to the s times b to the s. So I call this uh, distributing the exponent or factoring it out, depending on which way you're going. Also, uh, you do the same thing with division. a divided by b raised to the s power is a to the s divided by b to the s. And you can take, this is the same base, a to the s divided by a to the t, you subtract powers here. So this division is really similar to this addition, or this multiplication, you just, instead of adding, you subtract. Now do not uh, do the what's called the freshman's dream, which is a plus b raised to the s power is definitely not a to the s plus b to the s. You can see that with a simple uh, 2. If s was 2, a plus b squared, you'd foil it out and you would get a squared plus ab plus ab plus 2ab plus b squared. So that middle term right there would be the reason it would not be equal here. If you raise it to a cube power, you would have lots of middle terms. And in general, this is definitely not going to be uh, equal to this.